So I have to ask you, as a former CBO director, was this set of numbers, the $940 billion, is that gamed? There's so many timing issues in there. Well, yeah, as a matter of the rules, uh, it, it was a big game. And the Congress sends legislation to the CBO, which has to accept it at face value. And this was uh, really a fantasy, fantasy out project, uh, process. What, what's the most egregious timing <laughs> sense that you picked out from well, the bill? I think there are three big problems. Number one, I think it's just left out. We still haven't paid the Medicare doctors, and we're going to. It's going to be $300 billion. It's going to take about $114 billion in annual uh, discretionary spending going forward to, to run the operations of this bill. Those aren't in the bill at all. Then there are timing issues. You take $70 billion in, quote, premiums for a new long-term care insurance program. You call those deficit reduction, ignoring the fact that somewhere down the road you're going to have to pay benefits out of that. And we, we stole $53 billion out of Social Security, called it deficit reduction. There are going to be benefits for that in the future. All right. Last so thing, yeah. unrealistic Medicare cuts. You talked about it. There's $460 billion in Medicare cuts here that have never happened. There's nothing in the bill that makes it feasible for them to happen, and that's a core part of the financing.